that we have to be a little bit more proactive right now with trading and initiating some hedges opportunistically. Mm -hmm. I think we have to be more proactive with our long-term stop losses. I think that we have to, if we trade, we have to trade short-term and, you know, kind of coming in, let's say if this is the signal, any type of failure of the signal right here should be like, I'm done with this trade, that's it. Then uh, for the analysis of this, this looks more like a sign of weakness rather than a spring or a shakeout. It just has a shakeout type of structure. Um, but the way how demand here for the strongest of the asset is behaving, suggesting to me that, you know, we have to go into some kind of low or high. But because of this demand, you know, probably some kind of structure, 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 and then failure like this. So acceleration of, uh, of the downward movement, if it happens, could be after, you know, uh, multiple points of the failure um, to reach the new high. And here for the new high, we kind of see this is the bar uh, of importance to us. So I would be saying like, this is the level where, you know, uh, the failure should be happening, if it will. Yeah, so we have to keep in mind that um, like short-term, stronger assets is always very tricky because they tend to create a higher highs at some point. So it's actually on the failure that we have that final confirmation. So let's say that we have an attempt to trust the theorem that like long-term uh, resistance. And after that, we start to see some deterioration that the man that is finally consumed into the uptrust action, that would be the, the signal the first signal to short.